Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Koifish and today we are obviously playing a completely normal game of Crusader Kings. Psych! Just kidding, this is ATE, After the End. An absolutely amazing mod that is currently in beta that completely changes the world from the Eurasian North Africa of Crusader Kings 3 into that of a post-apocalyptic after the end, as the name implies, timeline of America, both North and South. Just like Elder Kings, this mod existed back in Crusader Kings 2 and I'm honestly so hyped to see all of these wonderful mods migrating over to Crusader Kings 3. I think modding is really what this game needs, but less talking and more liberty. Time to explore America after the end. Now this mod has a bunch of cool starts, but keep in mind it is still very much work in progress. This is a beta build that is available for the public, so the mod is not actually completely done yet. The... <laughs> I don't think this guy is actually dude. done. From the very tip of Tierra de la Fuego and the Falklands, all the way north to Alaska and even Svalbard. This mod is an absolute amazing undertaking on scale with Elder Kings in the fact that it aims to add so much. The lore of After the End is absolutely insane. Just to give you a few ideas on what exists in this mod. There's this universe answer to the HRE in the base game. The Holy Colombian Empire led by Emperor Julius, and his culture is Atlanta. Their goal is to restore America back to its past glory, complete with their own religion. If it's one thing this mod has a lot of, it is religions and cultures. There are the Vikings, there are just people, that are praising the tacky branding of the Minnesota Viking football team, complete with accurate battle gear for an American footballer. There is the Kingdom of Deseret, ruled by, that's right, King Mathoni of the gosh darn church of the Latter Day Saints. The Mormons, they're still here in Utah. <laughs> There's California, complete with a bullcrap peddling guru that just constantly shouts lifestyle advice at you while wearing a gosh darn Hawaiian shirt. And while we're here in California, in the Lieutenancy of SoCal, there's also Baja California, ruled by Hampak Victor Manuel, who follows the religion of Boards of the Nar. <laughs> They're surfers, and yes, they do smoke the reefer. But there's also more serious nations, like that of the Peruvian Tavanitinsuyu, ruled by Empress Kusi. That's right, they're the Incans. <laughs> I think at least. There are so many religions over here, some of them historical, but a lot of them altered by the time that has passed since the Great Collapse. There's the cults of story wisdom over in Innsmouth. There's the voodoo praising Haitians, and even Svalbard that follows the religion of the Earth Vault. Editor, please put a picture of the Svalbard Vault. That's right, it's real, and these people made a religion out of it. But enough ranting about the cool religions and cultures. Let me show you one of my favorite places in America. A place where I actually come from. That's right everyone, my name is Koifish oh and I was born in oh, Gosh darn hey, Ohio. Man. Swag like Ohio. Mm. Gosh darn it, not even in Crusader Kings 3 are we safe from the curse of Ohio. You can't go there. It's too dangerous. What? We're playing as oligarch Marklin of Buckeye. We are of course of the culture steel folk. Because as far as I'm aware of my American history, there is a lot of steelworks over in Ohio. Or at least was before the economy crashed. <laughs> we follow the religion of the galvanizing assembly. Basically, we pray to corporations, or at least the things we can find of them. And we're trying to kickstart industrialization again. That lets us do a very fun option. Start a salvaging hunt. But first, we have to join a titan's union. This is where this mod gets absolutely hilarious. There are many unions, each dedicated to a specific titan and the regulations. <laughs> this is so goofy, I love it. We must pick a proper union. Now, we can pick a bunch of them. For example, the Union of Prosperity, devotees of titan Rockefeller. <laughs> Of course, giving us a nice boost to our stewardship. There's of course the Union of Steel Drivers, devotees of Titan John Henry. That's a guy that competed against a machine to drive down nails, I'm pretty sure. But no, we're gonna go with the Union of the Protector, devotees of the Titan OSHA. Like OSHA regulations, <laughs> giving us... <laughs> Very cool. Bring health and safety of all people to our lands. Oh my god, that is so goofy. I love it. But considering we're galvanists, we can go on a salvage hunt to go looking for old world artifacts while the rest of the world have sort of forgotten or at least chosen to ignore the old world. We embrace it. Let's find some cool old world artifacts. The people of the old world left many amazing artifacts behind. Powerful weapons. Tools that aid in all varieties of work. Machinery, most brilliant. Our tech priest does not even fully understand it. 
It's starting to sound like Warhammer 40k. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if we can find some good salvage. We can go to the Enterprise of Sandusky. People there follow the traditionalist faith. Oh, so they're Muslims. Provinces populated by infidels are more likely to contain items of old world. Since they do not have the traditions of salvage. Well, let's go there then. If I can get a fire stick, a gun. <laughs> that would be the most American. Off we go to Shelby. Oh, and I guess I got married to Duchess Debbie. What a lovely name. We'll take the money, please. We're also skilled in diplomacy. So let's continue with that. Let's become the big cheese. <laughs> It looks like they've changed some of the perks as well, which is absolutely wonderful. For example, instead of raiders, we can become bougie. <laughs> or a gym junkie. Oh my lord. That is what we're gonna do. Power lift in the gold gym. There's unfriendly locals. Our intrigue is pretty good, so let's try to keep a low profile. That's what I do when I steal uh, copper wire. Oh, the locals are hostile. They're not very well trained, but there are a lot of them. We will fight our way through. We fought our way through. And I'm not even wounded. We found something. Oh. But not yet. A major prize you were hoping for. All right, let's see what we got. Amongst a wreckage of disintegrated iron, you find a fabulously preserved piece of old world machinery. Though stained with rust, the beautiful object itself does not seem to have rusted. <gasps> it is about three feet across, irregularly shaped with half a dozen holes perfectly cut part way through it. It is constructed from a metal that is lighter than iron. What is this? What is this object? Okay, hold up. The beautiful object itself does not seem to have rusted. It's made out of stainless steel. It is about three feet across. I don't know American units. Is that like five miles? Irregularly shaped with half a dozen holes perfectly cut part way through. Editor Medova, could you have a good guess on what this item is? All right, it's not that. People in the comments, what item did I use salvage? <laughs> I want to know. I, I, I don't know. Well, we'll keep this for ourselves. We have a little piece of old world machinery. Very nice. Oh, I have consumption. Let's get a doctor. This is accurate. Healthcare is still expensive, even as America has ended. <laughs> Let's see about conquering Ohio. I mean, I, it's just a joy to be able to say that in Crusader Kings. <laughs> We can take this area. That would be pretty easy. A simple war. Let's take a look at our army. Plenty of levies, some knights, but also a picket line. We're the union and we're on strike. Raise the picket line. I don't know why, but when I read picket, I re uh, my brain just defaulted to pickle. I was like, it's a line of pickles. Hell yeah. Heck yes. Hey, it's good, you Orville. Good that you have your protection on. Protect that nogging. How are we supposed to save all the knowledge of the old world if we get... Uh, Blunt force head trauma. That's what a lot of footballers get. Oh, don't you touch new Philadelphia. What happened to old Philadelphia, huh? Was it that good that we had to make another one? Let's fight. Come on. God bless America. Oh, I'm fighting a dwarf. Just kick him. Kick him like a football. Oh, he's pretty good at this fighting business. Not good enough. Very good. Well, I'm gonna just uh, take it easy down here at the Enterprise of Columbus. <laughs> Are we just capitalists? Is that it? Is this entire Ohio lore capitalism? Gonna love it. Down in Ohio. <laughs> How much do we need to form Ohio? <laughs> Hilarious sentence to say. One more duchy. Well, we can get lower Ohio. Uh, Ohio gets I am us. <laughs> I'm Japanese, my dudes. Let's get Gallia. Raise the lands and tell these people to kindly get the heck out of here. Do Ohio people swear? I know a little bit about Minnesotans because, you know, they're sort of like Swedes. That was easy. And then we'll have a nice little bit of batter. Man literally woke up and said, hey, I'm gonna mod in Ohio into Crusader Kings. Bruh. I'm malnourished? No. <laughs> Gain weight, an American tradition from long time ago. We'll also have an asado. Asado? I guess, I guess it's a feast. Sure. Hey, if I'm, but, I'm a, if I'm to die, let me have a cool funeral feast. Goodbye. This is me dying. Oh no, there's a sea of stew. You made too much baloney stew. Oh no, it's going everywhere. Is baloney stew a thing? Here we go. The chiefdom of Gallia. I'm still near death. And we have this guy that has the most redneck name of all time. Hunter Athens. Tell you what, uh, Hunter, I'm keeping you. I'm gonna make you the greatest hunter, okay? My wife, my wife's gonna teach you. All right, we got Wheelersburg. Wheelersburg Dealersburg. We give it to Shafi Wise. <laughs> is that an actual American name? Sure, why not? Am I dying? Yeah, thank you, America. Why is my doctor so bad? Why is my doctor bad? Well, oligarch Marklin, I think we can pull through. You have to do it for Ohio. Another day, another war. We're going to Portsmouth, Ohio. And I'm a steel fall. Ohi Ohio. So we're not even the co proper Ohio culture? Bro, bro, we're gonna have to fix that. But first, we're gonna have to take your land. Thank you. Put on our protective helmets. We're about to declare some football. Call me the Super Bowl, because we're gonna go bowling with your heads. <laughs> oh, another dwarf. Is this the same dwarf? Am I used fighting dwarves? That's wonderful. <laughs> A revolt? What revolt? 
a peasant revolt. Damn, Ohio peasants really rising up, huh? Well, we got a cool little kid and we took this land. Very nice. Come here, you Ohio peasant. What do you grow in Ohio? Potatoes? Do you even grow anything here? Does anything actually grow when you put it in the soil? <laughs> Ohio is a cursed land. We can get a claim on Sandusky? Who, who are you? Are you like the Pope? Chief engineer, of course. I'm sorry. I can ask you for gold. Well, let's start swaying this man, huh? Marshall. And it's a wonderfully American name too. Let's get some cultural acceptance with the Ohioans. We will blend with them and become the steel Ohioan. A life form that is beyond this. It's like the proper Ohioans we are. We're gonna start looking for scrap metal. <laughs> there are copper wire in that building. Take it and sell it. You can buy Funko Pops. Start the hunt. Let's see what we can get this time. Lick Licking is not a real place in the... Are you telling me you live in like... Oh, I live I live on South Road 56th Street. Licking. <laughs> Licking what exactly? Batteries? Yeah, that's where we'll find it. That's where we'll find it. Oh, it's a competing salvager. Can make him disappear? Sure, why not? Oh, no. Everything's taken. Come on. Nothing? Not even like a toaster oven? Not even a George Foreman grill? Bro. Well, we're vassalizing the Sandusky people. Very good. And I don't even have consumption anymore. I'm not consuming anything. Let's go. <clears throat> I'm just now realizing the enclosed helmet technology, the distinctive full face helmets used throughout the Great Lakes descend from those commonly worn by ancient blacksmiths. Bruh, you're literally just wearing a welder mask and going into battle. <laughs> Down in Ohio. <laughs> also, turns out I am Ohio. Uh, I'm literally the correct religion. And I'm also the big cheese. Very nice. Shucky cheese. <laughs> I took my boat out on Lake Erie and uh, I had myself a, 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 a soda pop, a Coke. Not as Minnesota. Everything can be a Coke if you believe enough, okay? <laughs> oh, we're helping an ally out in a war. Yeah, I can do that. Look at this. There you go, sir. You're, you're very welcome. And we can get some cool ransoms. Nice. My friends, it is time. We shall go on another salvage hunt. Come on. Let's see what we can salvage. Come on. Copper wire. Perfect. <laughs> We're going to ch 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 What is that? Is that an actual American place? Can I go there? We will uh, consult the tech priests. No, we'll send some envoys. Hey, we're coming. We're gonna steal your copper wire. <laughs> I will consult the tech priests as well. Let's go. I can't be more prepared. Oh, another salvager. Make him disappear. I'm greedy. <laughs> a greedy little goblin. Unfriendly locals. Oh, it's fine. My envoys. Oh, I prepared for this. <laughs> Nothing's gonna go wrong. I'm gonna get that toaster. Oh, I know another site. It's not the one I want, but I'll continue by salvage. All right, it's something at least. What is it then? You found scraps of old world artifacts, but none of them are especially well preserved. There are objects that may have once been used for cooking or as craftsmen's tools. But it's hard to tell with the corrosion and decay for centuries. Ah, what a garbage artifact. Let's sell it. Damn, can't have anything in Ohio. That's it. I'm going on a Calvinist pilgrimage to Albany. Sorry, we're going to Detroit. No, Albany it is. What's in Albany, huh? Like a cool factory or something? Albania. I'm a pilgrim. The great manufactorium. Oh, <laughs> the engineers give me their blessings. <laughs> Very good. I'm back home. And I can ransom this man. Saleski. Mike Saleski. Is everyone Polish in Ohio? Is that how it is? There we go. That's enough money. We are now the king of Ohio. Tycoon Marklin. Ohio courtroom. The, o <laughs> the Ohio court. I love it. Well, let's uh, hang our banner. That's cool. Wow. Columbus Bussy. That means we can vassalize Duke Gerbin here in Miami Valley. Miami Valley. Oh, man. Ohio is gross stronger and stronger. A behemothian? What do you believe in? A serpent king? That it was the last remaining energies of the worshipful and demonic reptilian race that were seeking to rebuild. What? What do you what 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 the heck do you believe in? And who is this guy? Gandar, Lord Rex, Howdy Partner, the raiding Ohio for captives? Bro, help, help. Get Delaware. Anyone help? We have to protect Ohio. They're trying to steal our people. The Queen of Al Alleghenia. Whatever that is. Gosh, my, my American culture. I'm, I'm, I'm so cultured. I've been to Europe like five times, bro. They will not have any captives from me. The Ohio people stand by their people. I am the Ohio people. We will raid them instead. It's opposite day in Ohio. What? What? what, 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 what? 
Owen, Owen, you absolute coward. And you rule under the, the brave of Indianapolis? No, we're being schmunked here by the bowmen of Tennessee. Because you're the only 10 I see. 10 dead soldiers over here. Help them. Someone, quick. Help. They're gonna steal everyone in Ohio. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Please, by, by all that is holy. Can we get some mercenaries? The Nighthawk band, all right. The Riley... Riley's Rangers? That could be good. They're all very expensive. Eh? I gotta pay an arm and a leg for a mercenary company these days. I remember the days of Black Hawk. I remember the days of uh, Acquisitions Incorporated. I remember back in the good days. You could hire Blackwater Company and they would do any war crime you wanted, hey? Just point on the list and they'll do it. But these days, no. Uh, you can't get anyone in involved in this. Everyone hates Ohio. Is that it? Kentucky. <laughs> Ken Schmucky. Look under your sofas. There could be gold here. The war leader. Dude, I seriously don't want you to take my people. Stop. Well, we're going for it. Come here. Oh, an even battle. We'll kick their bottoms back to Kentucky. Get out of here. Well, it was back in the year 2682. I was with the Ohio Company, fighting alongside great people like Queen Philip of Algenia and none other than Magnet Emmerich of Delaware. And they were trying to steal the Ohioans, you see. Dude, I feel like I need like at least one more Adderall before I play this mod next time. I'm obese? <laughs> yes! America! Bro, we need to hook you up with some better digs. Gosh darn it, who doesn't like a fat guy wearing flannel, huh? A lot of people, I assume. But hey, this is what he's wearing. Down in Ohio. Ooh, schmunked them real good. Let's get the white piece. There will be no stealing of people in Ohio today. Hey, koi fish. If only there was a word that meant that you stole someone else. Maybe kidnapping? I don't know. I've never seen a kidnapping. Start the salvage run. This time, we're gonna get something good. Oh, oh, I'm in Akron. And there's a strongbox that's corroded but still intact. I will crack it open. <gasps> yes! Let's go! A long metal tube with various bits of metal and brittle wood attached to it. You've heard stories that old world knights had such devices to produce fire from nothing. But it's hard to believe that you're seeing one yourself. Though the safe has preserved it well, you will have to handle it gently and be unable to fix it if it breaks. Ohio man acquires a gun. I have a firearm. My court is buzzing with the word of my success. Let's go. Let's see if we can return it to a functional state, huh? We have to, for Ohio. <gasps> After weeks of study, your armorers have finally stored your old world firearm to working condition! Let's go! I'm obese, I'm in Ohio, I'm wearing flannel, and I have a gun. <laughs> you will be a fearsome warrior on the battlefield. This is my boomstick! Yo, this gives me 30 prowess. That means that I fight as like 300 soldiers. I think maybe even more. Let's go! Oh, and I unlocked a diplomacy lifestyle perk. Well, you know what they say. You get a lot further with a kind word and a gun than you do with just a kind word. May I please have my change for my chicken McNuggets, please? Sir, you just become the most fearsome warrior there ever was. You know what we have to do, right? Bruh. A peasant woman from the castle of Ashtabula. I cannot cease, my lord. She will not stop dancing. Blood trailing from her mangled feet. Bruh. Literally, Ohio. The curse of Ohio. Can can't stop dancing. Pray! We will pray to the rust of will. We will we'll pray away it. And we can found a holy order. <laughs> In Ashtabula, of course. The National Recovery Army. Ooh, let's go. Am I eyes not deceiving me? Is there a is there a high noon face? A Mexican standoff. That is that is that is so cool. They're using the struggle mechanic from Fate of Iberia. And they're having a Hanoon. A Mexican standoff, huh? Let's hope it's properly solved. Ohio has discovered new machinery. Oh, it is a arithmometer. What? Engraved in the metal in flowing script. The machine is dominated by a heavy horizontal metal cylinder with numerals visible. Is this a gosh darn hand cranked calculator? We must study and repair my price. It's a calculator! Let's go! I have a gun. I have a calculator. It is time for me to get my revenge on Kentucky. That's right, everyone. Everyone's favorite town in Project Zomboid. We're taking Louisville. Hey, <laughs> just kidding. I know it's called Louisville. <laughs> I know. Because I'm actually from Kentucky. Call in Queen Frippa, my ally, and get the picket lines in order. We're gonna unionize. Can't be gosh darn it. Get me my boomstick. Wait, there's Kentucky and then there's Kentuckyana. Huh? Hey, it's Caney Fort. Chattanooga. These are not real places. Are they actual real places in America? I can go there right now. Bruh. I will be leading up and close. I'll be leading. 
Come on, I literally have a gun. I'm fighting Calhoun Bullion. It's a literal mega shad. Sir, I don't care how strong your jawline is. Eat 45 caliber. Dodge this, you bastard. <laughs> How many did I kill with my gun, huh? Oh, right. When I'm fighting, I'm not fighting, fighting. <laughs> I'm leading. I guess I'll be standing there taking pot shots. <laughs> Damn. Well, how are you really out here getting this revenge? Let me get my holy order, huh? The National Recovery Army. What are we recovering, huh? Recovering a secret hard drive from the CIA database. That's the most American thing I could think of. Let's go! Oh my lord. I, I'm like... I just had like an epiphany, like I'm not playing normal Crusader Kings. Like I zoom out and I'm like, oh, there's Nebraska, there's, there's Ohio. Or actually, Ohio, that's kind of weird. Oh, there we go, that's better. The Ohio Board of Tourism should pay me for this video, honestly. Oh, a language manual, how to speak a Ohioan for dummies. <laughs> Boom, Louisville has been seized. Very, very cool. <laughs> well, I think that's gonna have to be it. Unless we go for one last salvage. Sure, I wanna see what I can get. Oh my lord. We found old world jewelry. We can finally be swag like Ohio. And that, my friends, is how Tycoon Marklin became the strongest tech man in all of Ohio. Now, this is just one of the many, many people you can play as in After the End. I mean, just... I I haven't even scratched the surface. There is so much stuff. Native Americans, Inuit Canadians, Greenland, and of course, the Svalbard Vault. Secrets. Ruled by Pia Linestatter, Algrid Albrid Gitsen. Svalbarders. Yeah, I, I guess you literally use Norwegians, huh? Solfrid Linestatter. I think she's Norwegian. Yeah, where are you in Svalbard? Yeah. So tell me down below in the comments. Where would you like me to go next? Hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay Ohio, my dudes. <laughs>